This is filming and looks like we are live right now, huh? Yes, we are. Hello, everybody. Checking connection right here. Okay, one second. And we are coming live. This is Thor's update, by the way. What's happening here? The other camera is not connecting. What's going on? What's going on? Come on, come on. Anyway, how? We're right here on Facebook right now. So today, Thor's update number 30. Can you believe it? 30 Thor's update this year so far. August 26th. It's a beautiful day out there right now. Still enjoying summertime. And today I'm talking about something that you might be really interested in because this is refi season. And maybe you don't know, but right now we are... Okay, let's see now if it's going to get better. And we are able to do refi cash out without appraisals. Can you believe it? Okay, let me give me one second. Something is going on here. You're now live. Live! Okay, now Instagram is joining us. Okay, like I was saying, welcome to Thor's update. This is number 30, uh, August the 26th. Happy and blessed to be here. Still enjoying summertime, doing fun things with the weather. And today I'm talking about what's happening with refis, cash out. Can you do a refi cash out with no appraisal? Wow, yes. And I'm going to tell you how and why. Uh, I'm going to be talking about something that maybe you are not familiar. It's not like everybody else knowledge. More in the mortgage business or real estate business. What's the difference between DU or LP? If you ever hear about it, a lender or an agent telling you, asking you, did you get DU approval? Did you get, you know, the system approved the loan? I'm going to be talking a little bit about that, and I'm going to be sharing with you something that I've been listening from agents about what's happening in the market with Zillow. Do you know what Zillow is? Well, I'm going to give you my opinion, okay? Uh, anyhow, so let's go. Uh, like I was saying, I was just shocked yesterday. Sh yesterday, I got a loan, a refi, a repeated client, and we are running the system, and boom, we have approval, no appraisal needed, appraisal waiver eligible. And this is a refi, $100,000 cash out. Can you believe that? $100,000 cash out and no appraisal needed. So I was shocked because usually on appraisal, on, ref, on refis rate and term, when you're going to, let me explain you the difference. Refi rate and term means exactly that. You're just going to change the rate and change the, ter change the term of the loan usually the client is gonna drop the rate and drop the payment, it's gonna save money. But you have the other refis that are cash out. The refi cash out, like the name is saying, you're gonna put money out of the equity. 99% or 100% of the refi cash out I done the last years, you always need an appraisal. But this particular refi cash out yesterday, the systems pop up the alarm, you don't need an appraisal for this one, we can waive it, it's eligible. Refi, cash out, $100,000 out. We are going a 75% on to value and we don't need an appraisal. That thing is huge because first, the client is going to save the $500, $600 for the appraisal fee. Second, we don't need to wait two weeks to get the appraisal report done or come back to us. Third, we don't need to wait for surprises. Maybe the full value is not there. Maybe there is something to do on the property. We don't know. But now we don't have to be worried about that. So we already got the conditions for the loan. We got it approved on yesterday or Tuesday. Clean approval, only three conditions. Actually, we're just waiting for the closing protection letter from the, from the escrow, and we can submit to final approval. We already locked the loan. By the way, the rate was 2.9%. Refi cash out, $100,000, 2.9%, 30 year fix. And we're gonna be closing next week. Can you believe closing a refi in 10 days? 12 days, that is unbelievable. So this is exactly what's happening right now and I'm very happy and excited. If you know anybody who's looking to do a refi, either rate and term or cash out, let me know if the system says no appraisal needed, we don't need it, we don't request it. It's not like other lenders, they have overlays, even though the system says something, they still require, require that. We don't do that here in Clear to Close. So now you know. Uh, okay, now let's talk about the difference between LP and DU. 
maybe that's boring for you. Maybe you don't really care about this because you don't actually maybe need to know this. But there are some, uh, there are pretty much two systems happening right now regarding mortgage in the United States. One is coming from Fannie Mae, the other one is coming from Freddie Mac. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are two independent agencies that are pretty much owned and controlled by the government after the market crash. And they are the ones who manage all the mortgage backed securities. Thanks to them, we can do mortgage, we can do home loans in the United States. And thanks to them, pretty much we have liquidity. So every loan that we do are purchased by them or sponsored by them. So what's happening is DU is desktop underwriter. DU desktop underwriter is by Fannie Mae. And we have the other system is LP is loan prospector. LP is done by Freddie Mac. Well, I noticed lately, since every time we run the system to get the approval, we get both at the same time, DU and LP. And most of the time lately, LP has been the one more flexible. Like sometimes when you are self-employed, with the LP, you just need one year of income taxes. And sometimes, like in this case, when you're going to do an appraisal or a refi cash out, the LP is saying no appraisal needed. So that's an advantage. So make sure whenever you're going to be working with a lender, that the lender has the ability to run both systems at the same time. It's going to give you a better uh, option for you long. So you have less condition, you have less fees, you have probably in faster transaction to close, less friction. So if you need any help, call me. We'll be more than happy to help you and we can do that. Um, ah, let's talk about Zillow. I was putting here a note on Zillow. Do you know what's happening in the market with Zillow? Well, let me tell you what I'm hearing from agents. Zillow is already buying properties themselves. They are building up their own inventory. I hear about three different properties, three different clients here in the area that they sold the property to Zillow. It's just incredible because they are not charging the commission to the client. They are pretty much going full price and they are just going with condi without conditions. It's cash. You don't, you don't need a, a, a loan from the buyer. So now in this particular market that the inventory is very low, there are multiple offer situations all the time, the seller's market, and now you have this big, white elephant in the room buying properties competing with the rest of the buyer it's just crazy and and it's happening and you know what uh, Zillow I think is just a tool out there all we have used Zillow most of the clients use Zillow they look at the properties they look at the photos they look at the prices they look at the estimate even though some agents don't like it it's out there you cannot do anything about it you have no control on it but whatever they're doing right now, I think it's kind of crazy and can change the market for real. So you better wake up in this business. And if you're a buyer or a seller, well, just take advantage and see whatever sesame of your house is. Uh, but if you're an agent, you need to be unique. You need to be doing something different. And, and now you know you have more competition. It doesn't mean we never have competition because this business is very competitive. Zillow is doing mortgage too. And I was just calling them and I was talking today about having my marketing with them to generate leads. And it's funny because they were saying, Carlos, don't worry about the leads. We're going to give you killing leads. Lead. You're going to get, I don't know how many leads you're going to get. Uh, and most of the leads are going to be purchased. We are going to keep the refis. We want to keep the refis. The refi is going to be for us. Okay, it's interesting. So I'm going to get purchased leads from Zillow, but no refis because this is what they do. Anyhow, what you're sharing with you, what's happening with Zillow in the real estate part, very aggressive and it could be something, you know, for everybody to pay attention. And what's happening in the mortgage part, which you have to be unique. That's the reason why I do what I do. Maybe I don't have 100,000 views on my, on, my, on, my, on my videos, but I'm very sure I'm putting a seat there to make a difference and help somebody that might need help. All right, guys, that's it for now. I got to go. Super happy and blessed to be closing August. And wow, we just have a great pipeline right now, helping a lot of buyers and, and doing refis with a lot of homeowners. Um, oh, my Sebastian already finally started baseball. Can you believe that? He has his full, full, full first practice on Tuesday. That was just incredible. And Barbara doing the tennis, amazing. We play tennis by ourselves. Oh, just impressive. So Barbara, Sebastian, love you. Uh, everybody, wow, one week ago, we went to the Dodgers game. I cannot believe it. Monica, call me, don't disappear, please. 
Looking forward to do something fun again. All right, guys, I'm leaving. Bye-bye. Take care.